Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Uh, thank you for stopping by. And if you are new here, I would love for you to join and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I do a video. So in order to do that, just click on the little Anne Makes in the corner there and uh, or on that bell and then you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. So today what do I have to share with you? I have a Dollarama haul, haul Tisha Dollarama. Today, <laughs> so today I have a Dollarama store haul to share with you. And uh, Dollarama is a chain of uh, dollar stores that we have here in Canada where the items range between one and four dollars Canadian. And I like to go there to purchase mostly. Uh, supplies for my art and craft making but I also end up buying a lot of things for my family and home so so it's like one stop shop for me which I really like it gives me a great excuse to look at all the crafty stuff so without further ado here is what I purchased this week first off I want to show you the my biggest catch of the day which is this fish It is actually a scratcher toy for kitties. I got this specifically for my cat to put here in my studio. So basically it's a, a shape, a fish shaped board wrapped in really rough um, jute cord. Like it re it's really prickly and really rough and it's very colorful so I thought that would be perfect in my studio and it's got these you know fake glass eyes on it on both sides <laughs> so I can hang this somewhere uh, for it it's giving me like splinters uh, for kitty to sink her claws into instead of my upholstered furniture so uh, that is for kitty <laughs> and it's colorful at the same time so that is one thing I purchased and the other thing I purchased and I, I might use it in my studio not sure is this locker shelf the stackable locker shelf and reach over here and these are did I tell you how much my fish was the fish was four dollars by the way if I forgot to tell you that I'm sorry uh, this stackable locker shelf is four dollars and this is the of course it's the back to school stuff so Dollarama like a lot of stores is starting to put out the the new school and office supplies for 2018 and they're, they're just starting to put these things out and they have the uh, they have the set of these locker shelves so they're like this so then you can basically you can stack these inside a locker in your school locker or even if you have a locker in, in your job and they come in different colors and since they had one in pink I bought one in pink I thought if I ever I need an extra shelf in here for whatever reason uh, this might be useful for me to have so I got that and if I forgot to say it, it these are four dollars and this is what the paper looks like so I got that and so it's a good time to go check out the uh, school supplies to make sure you have what you what you will need and want for the upcoming um, new school year so the next thing I bought and also will be staying here in my studio is this brush and sponge cup with suction oh it's missing a suction cup okay I lost a suction cup at the back of my flower pot here um, I hope it's in my car uh, and this is a brush for cleaning in my kitchen or here it'll be for my studio for cleaning stuff this is sold for kitchens and it's basically a scouring brush in decorated like a little flower with the little sponge for washing 
and the little flower pot with suction cup thingy at the back. It's supposed to have two. One of them fell off. And you just grip this to the sink. <laughs> I pretend I'm a sink. And, and then you can just put your little brush in there and it can drip dry in your sink. So I took this because I thought it was very whimsical and it's pink so it's perfect for in here. So I do have a sink in my studio. And uh, next I want to show you some other things that I got not exactly for my studio but that I will be using. I found these cute paper plates. Uh, so I guess this would be the main meal plate and this would be more the dessert plate or snack plate. So you get the, with the flamingos. There are eight plates in this in the dinner plates and there are ten in here. So the, the dinner plates are just over eight inches and the snack plates here or dessert plates are about six and three quarters uh, in diameter. And I got the smaller napkins. Yes, these are like the beverage napkins. You get 20 of those. And 16 of the uh, lunchtime, they call these lunchtime napkins. So there's less of the larger sizes, but yeah. Uh, and each pack, each pack of napkin and each pack of plate is $1.25. And I just thought they were really cute and fun to have in the summer for either a last minute little get togethers or uh, on the days that we just, it's too hot to cook and we just don't feel like doing a lot of dishes, you know. So just on a lazy day, we have those. And next, I have some nice crafting supplies I would like to share with you. This was new to me. They have some rolls of jute rope, and they have these pretty colors, these nice bright colors. I chose this bright pink and this bright teal. Now, do not be fooled by the size of the spool. It looks like there's a lot here, but there really isn't that much on here. Uh, there's only about, oh, it's so hard to see. There is only, yeah, 10 meters or 32 feet 6 inches of jute on here. And it's, you know, it's fairly, you can see the, the cardboard reel right, right away almost. So, see, that's not much you get. Uh, but they're only $1.25, so it's not too bad. But uh, if you think you're getting like the whole spool here of jute, you're not. You're just getting a little bit. So getting 32 feet for $1.25. The next thing I really was hoping to find, and I did, was this set of mini forms. That's what it's called, mini wooden craft shapes. There are 144 of these little wooden die cuts. And this was $4. What a great deal this is. Um, you know, if you go to any other craft store and you look for little wooden die cuts, uh, they're way more expensive. And they're basically the same thing. So, um, yeah, I was very happy to find these. These are great fun to make all sorts of crafts. DIYs, they're great in mixed media work. They're great for scrapbook. They're just so many uses for these. So, got that. And then I decided to stock up on some of the small size gift bags just because uh, they had a lot. And I had, I thought this will be great for sometimes I do need to make a smaller gift packaging and I just really like the size to use as paper. So I got one of these. I did haul the large size of this bag uh, a couple of weeks ago I believe or a week ago and I love the print but now that they have it in the smaller print, smaller size, smaller version, I had to get it. So I got this one and on the side it has jewels, very girly, very feminine. 
And I got this one with the kitty. So I am a cat lover and I do know several cat lovers with the roses. And on the side, it's just plain. And by the way, these little gift bags, if you can see, are uh, two for a dollar twenty-five. And I got this vintage looking one and it's got like the Eiffel Tower and it's got like motorcycles and very, this one, you know, is more, I would say, manly or even gender neutral versus, you know, the pinky curly one. And I couldn't resist this one because of the, this little guy on here. He's so, so cute. A cute little puppy on there. Isn't he adorable? With the flowers. And it does have a vintage vibe, too. And this is what it looks like on the side. So, again, these bags are two for $1.25. You may recall that I also hauled the large version of this gift bag a while ago. And so I saw it in the small size. I picked it up. And finally, the other one I bought is the uh, Vintage World Map one. And the reason I bought several of these is because I thought the paper was a really nice quality and nice size to cut and make into craft projects to use the paper for bases for... A collage but also to make some planner inserts I thought these were just the right size perhaps to cut and uh, punch holes in and to maybe double them up or glue them onto a, a thicker piece of cardstock and make some nice planner dividers so that was my intention the other item I was hoping to find at my dollar rem dollarama was these hang tags with string. You get 18 of these lovely tags with the string. They're $1.25. I was able to get my hands on this print and this print. I did not have any luck finding the one uh, that I've seen other people haul that has the little birds, the vintage birds. But uh, yeah, I was able to find these ones. So I hope, I hope to find the birdie one. That would be really nice because I thought those were really cute. Now, I saw this in the hardware aisle. This uh, I was pleased to see because I had not seen the black multi-purpose ties in a while. And these are $1.25 for 40 of the plastic multi-purpose ties in black, uh, which is great because sometimes I could use black. I don't, I only have so I have so many of the white and clear ones and different colors, but sometimes it would just be really practical to use the black. So glad I found those. Now some more crafty items. Uh, this is a repurchase. The store I was at had more of these linen sheets that are 18 by 18. And I got a few more of these because I really liked the prints and I picked up some trim uh, just because of the color I really like this one it has the jute I like the combination of the jute and the pink I like this shade and I thought it would be cute to embellish some maybe some containers and I also took also found uh, this and sorry, these are the jute ribbon is a dollar twenty-five, and this ribbon and it has sparkles in it, pretty sparkles, and like it looked very, it's a, like a nice rose gold type of ribbon, and these are a dollar twenty-five, and there's like two meters on here, I believe. So um, yeah, two meters. Two there's two meters on here, just over six feet. And the same for this woven type of ribbon. And this is only one meter. So, yeah, these are only one. Oops, so about three feet uh, for $1.25 of the woven ones. I just got the pink and white. And I also got some of the black and white. 
I restrained myself from buying every single color they had. I was good. Now, uh, one thing I did need to find was an eyeglass case for someone in my family whose case just broke. And I got this one. I hope this will be, this will do. I hope it'll be big enough. So, just an eyeglass case. And these are $2. Just a nice hardcover one with the, I don't know how big you call that. Just close this very nicely. And my goodness, so many pretty notebooks. Uh, the stores right now, both uh, the chains that we have here, the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Amas, have more back to school. They're getting the back to school items in, and they have so many pretty notebooks. And I have to tell you, the ones at Dollarama are really gorgeous and such a good price. So first to start off with one of the uh, less expensive ones is this cute little notebook. They have a variety of these inspirational notebooks with gold foil. Uh, I chose this one because I, I just love the color combination. And the quote that says, make today ridiculously amazing. And it if you look inside, they are lined pages, and they have this lovely little detail in the corner, the bottom corner of each page. So it's just really cute. Um, it's just a glue-bound little notebook, you know, and it has 160 pages. So this is a nice little type of book you can, you know, bring along with you. And then these are... Uh, more journal type books and I think these are so nice um, now for three dollars and fifty cents you can get these lovely leatherette like journals they are so nice they are stitch bound in the in the binding they are all lined um, decent writing paper and I said they're stitch bound they also have the little ribbon bookmark in, in each one. The color coordinates with the, the journal. I chose this one. It says, I can, I will, end a story. I intend to give this uh, to my son. Uh, he, 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 is, uh, he loves to write, and I try to get him really nice books to write in and he loves that so there's 192 pages in here and I, I think he will enjoy writing in this I purchased the next one for myself uh, because of the color mostly and because of it says organized chaos and I thought oh how appropriate for me yeah organized chaos that's how I feel about my life sometimes there's just so much going on but I try to keep it all organized and it too has a lovely little pink ribbon uh, marker. And it's $3.50, 192 pages. I love this rose, like coral color and kind of coppery inlay here. And then the third one, I wish I had found more than one because I would like one too, but I want to give this to my son as well. Uh, this one says, Think, Write, Create. I love the vintage typewriter on there. It looks like an Underwood typewriter that we actually have. And um, yeah, so since my son, and my son is allowing me, he likes to write. And uh, I keep encouraging him to submit his work uh, and because I told him you know you can get published and it's really cool when you get published so um, yeah I, I hope he does <laughs> and these are three dollars and fifty cents for 192 pages and uh, yeah it's going to my son and finally another notebook and this one is for me is a one subject notebook wow these are so so nice very hard cover it's um, kind of a reptile feel to it. I rep it's not my favorite, but it's the color that I really liked. I love this deep burgundy um, color. Uh, the coils here are, are really sturdy. And you get... Let me 
many sheets are in here? There are 80 perforated sheets. So this is for my use. Uh, it the sheets it has these little pockets here, which are practical for holding things. This is meant for um, a student, but this will be for my work assignments when I have. I get a lot of work assignments to do, projects, and uh, this way I can keep track of what I have to do and when it's due. And I like the fact that the pages are perforated, so which suits my, my needs really well. And there's space at the top for writing, you know, a title, a page number, a date, whatever, which is important in, in my work. So I just thought that for my work purpose, uh, this would be perfect. I love the, the fact that it's got this space here between the binding, the spiral binding. And this notebook, I believe was, and this notebook turns out, I believe was just 250 because I'm looking at my receipt here. And these notebooks were three fifty, and the other one says two fifty. So this, yeah, looks like I paid two fifty for that one. I thought it was three fifty, but anyway, that's the price range. To stay within the same thing here of writing notebooks, I also picked up these ink gel X roller gel pens, and. I really like writing with these pens and I thought the barrel was really really nice it's a 0 0.7 uh, it's a nice fine point to write with I often buy this brand at uh, Dollar Tree and the barrel uh, they have a different looking barrel and these ones just look a little bit more chic and they are two dollars so they're a little bit more expensive but these will be gifted along with the um, notebooks I showed you for uh, my son and I also saw the same pens with this rose gold cap so I think I will be keeping those and what I noticed in the store is that the pens these gel X ink pens are available in black ink and blue ink so um, I tried to find uh, both both the silver and the rose gold in uh, black and blue. Now another, I just couldn't resist this, I just thought this was such a lovely pen. It is by Studio and it just seems like a gorgeous pen. It is three dollars. What a lovely gift this will make with one of the notebooks for a friend. And uh, I also bought one for myself because I just thought the color was so nice. So for $3, a beautiful pen, and it seems to write quite fine, which is fine with me. <laughs> so got that. And these, the next thing I'm going to show you, I thought was a good, good find. And these are special edition. The next thing I have to share with you is a uh, new... They are special edition Bic markers uh, from the color collection. Apparently these are limited time, um, ultra fine permanent markers, special, yeah, they're a special edition, unique color sets. So I got this set here, which is kind of a blue purpley set. And each set is three dollars and fifty cents. I also picked up. They had. I also picked up this. I picked up one of each that they had. This more of the. I don't know. Yellow reddish set. And the blue and green set. So they are like I said before, ultra fine point. They are alcohol based ink markers. I find that these. I find that these markers are a great alternative to the more expensive uh, brands of alcohol-based marker and they do the same job and a lot of them have comparable colors. So when I see these collections where they have these special colors, I tend to buy them and I will mix these with my higher end, uh, more expensive alcohol ink markers 
for coloring projects and um, yeah they they work well together all alcohol based markers work well together so I do uh, recommend looking into these I haven't opened them up so and tried them yet but I just thought I'd share that with you in case you are interested in colorful alcohol ink based markers now this is new at my Dollarama and I couldn't resist they have the, they call these kids sketchbooks, by, it's by studio, are 72 pages, and they are sketchbooks. And they have this great hardcover, they have this copper colored uh, coil binding, really sturdy, and it's really super, super tough covers. And they have this really nice, smooth sketching paper, um, not purely white, kind of a little off-white a bit, which is great. And it's a nice, it's perfect thickness for, for drawing and sketching and coloring with crayons and colored pencils. But who says you have to be a kid to enjoy this? Some, uh, I think you can turn it this way, and it could be your sketchbook. You could use it this way. Uh, but I think it's great that they have these and I love the covers and um, yeah I do think these are great gifts for a child but I also think there's nothing wrong if you're an adult and you use these because they're really nice they're really nice uh, sketchbooks and there's 72 pages they are a hundred GSM so it's a good weight for sketching pretty pretty good deal if you ask me and they're three dollars and fifty cents so and they had so many cute prints with the animals. And I really thought this little guy was cute, the little koala. And they also, the other one I purchased, because you know I'm a sucker for sketchbooks. And I keep saying, every time I show you a sketchbook and a notebook, I keep telling you, I don't need another one, but I still buy it. Yeah, you know, that's the problem. Um, I also got this one, because I thought this little guy was really cute. I like that. They look like they're having a little party there and this little crocodile either they're having a party or they're just trying to throw him out of the way because they don't want to get eaten so <laughs> uh yeah so and um, they're just really nice sketchbooks and three dollars and fifty cents you cannot go wrong so i believe that's it for my crafty stuff well if you don't count the sand this is more like for home decor things uh the stone granules that i bought this big jar 28 ounces of white stone gravel white stone granules so a dollar fifty for this pretty good deal i know it's a lot more at some other stores it's free for outside <laughs> But you have to, you know, you have to get it and you have to clean it. And, you know. um, and, and I haven't seen white granules around here. So, uh, and these are also stone granules, but in the beige color. And these are a dollar fifty. They're all a dollar fifty for twenty eight ounces. So it's a nice big, big heavy jar. And. Another crafty thing that I purchased, but this comes from the kitchen aisle. <laughs> it's a little grater with a container, and it shows you you grate your cheese, and it has the grater thing. That you know, don't want to grate my fingers, but uh, yeah. So you can get some, you know, get a block of cheese and grate your own cheese, so you can sprinkle on your food. But I already have stuff like that in my kitchen. And what I I purchased this because I thought the size was perfect to keep in my studio and I could grate pastels on here and other coloring supplies to make my own mixes and that it is there there are companies that make graters for pastels and for the gelatos and there's, if you go online to, on their websites, they have all these techniques for how you grate your gelatos and you mix them with some medium and you, you know, you make your own uh, coloring 
product, coloring tools. So um, that's why I bought this for, so I could have a little greater in my craft room. I like the size, so got that. And this was a dollar fifty. I got that. Then I saw these new storage trays. You get five storage trays in here. The brand is the Plastico. The lot they have a lot of these. Um, Plastico makes a, is the brand that they have a Dollarama for a lot of these like drawer dividers and little storage containers and they clip into each other like this you know you could put them in a drawer and they have these packs these five packs for two dollars and fifty cents of these little trays that are perfect for storing uh, pencils you know art supplies and whatever and I just, my, for my personal use, what I was thinking I would use these for is when I am working on a coloring project or any type of project and I am using multiple colors, is that I can use each tray for the color family that I will be using in my project. So if I'm using every single color in the rainbow, I can keep my blues in the blue tray, my yellows, and you know, I think you get the idea here. Uh, and that is what I will be using them for in my studio, just to hold the multiple supplies I am using. Now I also th think these are excellent if you are homeschooling. If you are a school teacher, you can have these in your classroom to help store and organize the uh, supplies for the students. And, you know, these would be really cute in a child's playroom, a child's bedroom. It's just, you know, very bright colors. I would have loved these when my children were younger and um, I, I did homeschool for a little bit for a few years um, and and when they were in school I would have you know used this for their own school supply their own you know colored pencils and stuff to have at their homework station so lots of lots of neat uses for these colorful bins and uh, this is not crafty but it is it was in the beauty and health section and this is by Mariposa uh, eyebrow gel and they have they only have one in brown so I uh, so I've never used this before I have no idea uh, if anyone's tried it uh, let me know what you think uh, but you know I thought I would try it and I believe this one uh, is two dollars and fifty cents my store had a lot in black and they had one in brown so and I took it now the next thing I have to show you is really a repurchase, but uh, it's because I, I bought one of these before, but in a different pink. And I really like this pink better. <laughs> so uh, I like this this kind of pink, this light pink better than the first one I bought. So that's why I got it. And this is $2. Uh, but I will, I still have, I'm still using the other one for something. So uh, I'll just have more in this and I think I bought two of these actually to put here in my office. We're always in need of garbage bags in this house and I needed some blue ones for uh, the recycling bins that we have so that's what I purchased here. I got this bag of 25. These are the really really thin bags but they fit the smaller bins that we have and these are the larger blue bags. There's 10 in here so uh, these are $1.25 as well as these are $1.25 for $25 and $10. And I picked up some glitter gravel. I just thought this was really, really a pretty color in this nice kind of teal blue. It was the only teal blue there. There were a lot of other colors, but I thought this would be really pretty to use to make water in some sort of fairy garden if I ever get to making some or in some floral arrangements, or just, just, yeah. So at $2, you get the whole two, and uh, does it say what the weight is on here? I can't see what the weight is, but it's a long, heavy tube, 
And isn't that funny? Hmm. It doesn't say how much in weight there is in here, but this is what you get. Uh, and oh, the last thing I have to show you is a bottle of uh, Murphy's Oil Soap. These, I think, are $2.50. Uh, my store had just received a shipment of these. Uh, they hadn't had it in such a long time, and I wanted a bottle. I use this specifically for uh, my paint brushes to help keep them um, in good shape. We do have uh, wooden furniture, but our floors are mainly ceramic, are all ceramic actually. So uh, I don't use this on my floor, but uh, if I do need to clean the wood furniture, I do like to use this. So that is it for my Dollarama haul. Yeah, it was quite a, a big haul, and um, I hope you saw some useful things in there. I'm really excited mostly about the new school supplies and art supplies, you know me. And I hope that you are enjoying your summer. I hope you're taking care of yourself too. Uh, so have fun, be careful. And uh, stay tuned. I I will eventually go back to DIY and crafting videos. I just have a lot of other things going on. And it's summer and I'm trying to take some vacation time. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, or share. And I'll see you after the next haul. Bye!